is November 22, few days from now. Mag-start na tayo ng uh, Chunbo event natin sa La Union, which will be the first time in the history of uh, uh, Ilocos Norte, the first time in the history of this region. So, yeah, let me share my screen. Okay. Can you see? This book. My, my slides. Okay. That's great. So the title of my uh, presentation today is Collateral Liberation of Spirits and National Restoration. So uh, I wonder why. Uh, yeah, maybe. This the slides. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me check again. Oh. Let me share again. not changing that's why okay. should be this way yeah this is the one okay so <clears throat> again uh, the title of uh, my sharing for today is about collateral liberation of spirits and national restoration okay so let us uh, give a big hand to our beloved true parents who's always uh, guiding us, brothers and sisters, uh, even in this, most especially in this time of uh, uh, difficulty and persecution. Uh, let us comfort our beloved true mother by bringing results, bringing victory in our frontline mission. So the question is, what is collateral liberation of central evil spirits? Basically, this is uh, different from ancestral liberation, uh, collateral liberation is different. So what is that? So collateral liberation is actually the liberation of spirits who are not in your direct lineage. For example, your relatives, like uh, your brothers and sisters, your aunt, your uncle, your cousins. Yes, so when you liberate them, uh, you can apply for collateral liberation, not ancestral liberation. So we have uh, blessed family members also of second and third generations who, whom you'd like to liberate. It's also called collateral liberation. People you know, like your friends or even uh, famous people like uh, presidents of nations, prime ministers who died already, or some uh, sports like, uh, like icons like uh, Pile or uh, some people who like scientists no? or uh, great uh, leaders and great uh, religious leaders you know, in, uh, in the different fields of leadership also in the world level. So you can liberate them. Uh, so we call that collateral liberation. Also, uh, spirits inside our bodies causing problems, like uh, causing sickness, causing uh, relationship problems, causing uh, problems in the land or properties, or some kind of a haunted uh, house. There are some uh, evil spirits in a house, and uh, they call it a uh, haunted house. So you can uh, determine the address of that house and then apply for collateral liberation of central evil spirits. And then these uh, spirits in this house can also be liberated. So we call that altogether collateral liberation. Okay. So these evil spirits that are inside our bodies are actually piled up like ant eggs. They are settled in an orderly way in our body. And then centering on the most resentful spirit, many other spirits are gathered together inside our body. So uh, why are they inside our bodies? Because the spirits have resentment towards our ancestors. That's why they go inside our bodies in order to take revenge, in order to what? To resolve their resentment, meaning... They would like to take revenge uh, to the person who harmed them 
uh, through their descendants. And we are the ones, no? we are the descendants. So, the central evil spirits are really our enemies. They would like to make our life uh, suffer or uh, miserable. They would like, they are giving us misfortune, sickness, and many other problems so that we cannot be happy and we cannot be successful in our life. Meaning, if we, we as blessed families and members, even though we accepted through parents, even though we live in accordance with the principle, huh? even though we're so determined to fulfill our portion of responsibility because we understood it very well, but the central evil spirits will stop us to fulfill our responsibilities. So this is really uh, uh, very, very important that we know. And then our beloved true mother, through the works of the substantial Holy Spirit, made possible the liberation of these evil spirits so that we can easily fulfill our responsibility. Adieu. Are you okay, brothers and sisters? <laughs> so this is an illustration of uh, how they are piled up inside our bodies. Uh, they're together, you know, piling up like that. Huh? So what are they doing there? You can see that this uh, central evil spirits, I tell you, I tell you this is a leader of resentful spirits. And according to President Ligi Song, uh, there, they, there, there are like uh, 3,000, as much, as many as 3,320 spirits in our bodies. And so meaning when we liberate some spirits during Chan Yang Yok session, only part of these spirits are uh, taken out, but still, the central evil spirits hiding deep, deep, through layers and layers of spirits, once you cannot liberate them, even though you liberated the outside spirits, you see, outer layer spirits, so-called outer layer spirits, but uh, after you join the Chunbo event, the central evil spirit is still there. The central evil spirit will uh, find other spirits to replace those who were taken out during Chan Yang Yok session. <laughs> So, na, na, ano siya ba? it is uh, replenished. <laughs> the evil spirits taken out from our body, they, they are replenished by the new evil spirits hanging around because the central evil spirit is a very good leader. They, they uh, ask these people, oh, you have resentment? You know, somebody hurt you in the past, right? No? Me also same. Eh. So let's join together and take revenge. Huh? Using this body, let's stay, take revenge. Something like that. So, again, many evil spirits go inside our body, even though we joined Chan Yang Yoksa sessions already. So, it's very important that the central evil spirits must be taken out of our bodies. And then they cannot invite more uh, spirits to come. So, this is uh, very, very important. Uh, th uh, there are some uh, spiritually open uh, people gifted by heaven that they can see spirits. And they can feel spirits and they write about it. So in this book, Remarkable Healings, uh, a psychiatrist discovers unsuspected roots of mental and physical illness by Shakuntala Modi. Uh, he, she found out that uh, here, he's saying this one. Let us read this. Uh, Patients describe that both earthbound and demonic entities or spirits are arranged in many, many layers. In their bodies. Uh, yes, even a drawing here. A patient is a drawing how these evil spirits are inside our bodies. And he described this as uh, demons uh, or they are human spirits uh, that, that are uh, in multiple layers no? in the body and even uh, suppressing the heart. No? And then this, the, the angels are pushing out this uh, entity outside this, uh, how do you say, evil spirit out of the layers, one by one, uh, to, uh, these angels comes from heaven. However, this kind of work, is, even though it's possible, but this, is, uh, this requires tremendous amount of uh, work uh, in order to really accomplish this. Uh, but because of our true parents who finally came to the earth, this kind of work can finally have greater power and it can be completed because of the incredible power 
of good spirits and angels led by with true parents' authority. So, brothers and sisters, many outside people who does not know the principle know about this already, but they can see that the only part are being uh, uh, pushed out of the body. Only few spirits can be pushed out by angels outside our bodies, but it cannot really be completely, uh, how do you say, well, removed. No? But because of uh, our true parents' victorious foundation and the authority of true parents, these evil spirits can completely be taken out of our bodies. Brothers and sisters, how incredible uh, grace this is in our time today. So in the book, Unquiet Dead, uh, this book is a compelling record of her experiences in dealing with the spirits of deceased individuals who cause psychological and sometimes physical problems when they attach themselves to living persons. You can see that these uh, spirits, they attach to our bodies and they can cause mental problems. They can cause sickness like cancer and many other kinds of sickness. So uh, uh, even outside authors uh, can see this. So these evil spirits are, uh, who are, that are inside our bodies, what are they doing? What can they do? How can they affect our daily lives? So these are the influence of evil spirits. They can affect our emotions, uh, emotions and behavior. What does that mean? We can easily become angry because they are angry and resentful spirit, right? So we can easily become greed and we cannot control uh, smoking, drinking and other vices. And then it causes pain. Huh? And because of these evil spirits, not only influence our emotions and behavior, but also they cause diseases. They cause misfortune. Huh? So this is really a situation where even though we know the true parents, we believe in true parents, even though we try to practice the divine principle in our life, as blessed families even, still very, very difficult to live a good life or a happy life or even fulfill our portion of responsibility in our time today. So what should we do? These evil spirits definitely should be separated from our bodies. Look, uh, if these evil spirits remain in our bodies, two things can happen to us. We can become a criminal because we cannot control anger, greed, vices, and it will result to murder, robbery, rape, and other crimes. Also, if you cannot become criminal, you become what? Victim. You experience misfortune. You're just walking, walking, walking. Suddenly, somebody already uh, stabbed you. <laughs> that happened to me. <laughs> the misfortune. You can be killed. You can be raped, mistreated, or harmed. Even though you did not commit uh, any mistake with that uh, person. Even though did, you did not harm that particular person. That person only influenced by evil spirits, but that person can attack you. This is the situation that we are living in today. We are surrounded by evil spirits, meaning we cannot truly be victorious and happy, and we cannot fully fulfill our responsibility if these evil spirits are still around us. What should we do then, brothers and sisters? What should we do? We have to really do our best with the world to liberate From our bodies, it can even cause birth defects. No, even uh, blessed children can be affected by this. Stillbirth, like uh, uh, already dead when that baby is born, also deformities and sickness when the baby is born. This evil spirits causes things like this. Therefore, we have to get rid of them, separate them from our bodies. How can we remove these evil spirits, most especially the central evil spirits in our bodies? So we have the Chanyang Yoksa session, so that the spirits causing sickness and problems can be separated from our bodies. So the central evil spirit is the most resentful, strongest, and most influential spirit. They can be taken out through collateral liberation. Remember, brothers and sisters, how can we separate them from our bodies? Number one, collateral liberation. Number two, 
sincere prayer at Chon Shimon, meaning vigil, night prayer. Huh? Also, number, number three, lecturers ansu. What is lecturers ansu? That is when you join Chon, Chonbu event, and then the lecturer or the leader you know, go to you and tap your head. No, this time, ansu, we call that ansu. And then, because uh, uh, each leaders and the lecturers were assigned special angels uh, through the special prayer room in the uh, Chonbo Training Center in Korea, a prayer is offered for lecturers and leaders so that they will be assigned special angels with them so that when they do ansu, you know, that ansu can take out this evil spirit, central evil spirits in your bodies. So also, number four, by offering wish papers. Aju? So when we combine these four, no? Collateral liberation, uh, sincere prayer at Chon Shimon, lecturers and so on, and then offer wish paper. Whoa! This really become a very, very powerful instrument to really separate the central evil spirits in our bodies. But remember, if you only apply for one central evil spirits, what do you think? Will there be still remaining evil spirit in your in your body? Actually, you know already in the Philippines, even externally, uh, uh, many many people apply for president of the of the Philippines during election, isn't it? Eh? So if the the president dies, uh, will there somebody who will be replacing? For example, leader of the rebel group like like M NPA, eh? NPA. New People's Army. The army killed the leader. Somebody will replace or not? The, the reality is that somebody will replace. So in our body also, if we liberate one central evil spirit uh, causing problems, that evil spirit, even though it is separated, it will be replaced by the new central evil spirit. So what should we do so that we can totally get rid of these uh, evil spirits in our body? According to uh, experiences of many brothers and sisters in Chonbo, Korea, they liberated even at one time 13 evil spirits. 13 evil spirits, meaning these are the leader type no? spirits, can be liberated from our bodies. <clears throat> and then, after they are separated from our bodies, they lose leader, right? right? These uh, evil spirits in our body, they don't have uh, a good leaders anymore to lead them. So what will happen? They lose power. Huh? Once they lose power, what should you do? You should not just do nothing. You, you have to do something because they, they lose power already. You have to take opportunity, take advantage of it. How, what, what will you do? What should you do? You have to really absolutely follow through mother's direction. Witnessing, witnessing, witnessing. With result, with result, with result. And then what else you have to do? You have to really do the liberation of your uh, ancestors and also blessing many, many uh, HTM uh, blessed couples and then live for the sake of others, sacrifice for the sake of others and then give donation, give tithes, uh, attention to service and then uh, really uh, 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 do things that uh, in accordance with the principle and what will happen? Many, many good spirits will be attracted to you. And when many, many good spirits are attracted to you, many, many good spirits protect you, what, what will happen? These evil spirits who lose 13 leaders because you liberated 13 central evil spirits, they lose their leader, they lose power, and they will be controlled totally by good spirits that are working with us. And then we can really become persons who can easily fulfill our responsibility and get some heavenly fortune, inherit heavenly fortune from true parents, and eventually we become victorious sons and daughters of God in front of heaven and in front of Satan. And we can become what? Huh? Sons and daughters that true parents have been looking for for the longest time. Adieu. So, true parents said, Chongpyong works is liberating the spirits that are inside human bodies. It is driving out the numerous evil spirits nesting in the body. Wow, amazing. So, True Mother said, that's this, under the direct dominion 
of two parents centered on Hyo Jinim, the eldest son, Hung Jinim, the second son, and Demonim. Chongpyong works are conducted automatically with the help of the angels and absolute good spirits centered on Chanyang and the divine principle, uh, spirit and truth. No? Spirit and truth, meaning divine principle and the Chanyang, divine principle and the Chonbu events or Chonbu works. Together, no? we can be victorious when spirit and truth, when we worship, when we work with spirit and truth, meaning with the divine principle and Chonbu events, Chonbu works, together, we can be successful and victorious in our time today. Not only survive, but victorious, sons and daughters of heaven. Are you? So, the separation of spirits is possible due to the amazing spiritual power of true parents during Chanyang Yok succession. You have to really, what? Think about the true parents. Be grateful to true parents. Be grateful to heavenly parents during Chanya Yok sessions. So, uh, these evil spirits are separated from our bodies. Where, where, what are they doing after that? What? According to true parents. Beams of light created by true parents guide those spirits, enabling them to ascend upward from hell in the spirit world. And then what did they do? They follow these beams of light from heaven that comes from true parents. These central evil spirits, these evil spirits, they go up to heaven, to the spiritual world, guided by the angels and the absolute good spirits. They're attracted to this light from true parents and eventually they attend a eh, 100-day workshop in the spirit world. Yo. So when they attend, the, the, the lecture in the spiritual world is more advanced than the lecturer here in the physical world. In the physical world, lecturer can be boring you can sleep during the lecture. But in the spiritual world, cannot sleep, brothers and sisters. Because it's very, very exciting. Huh? It's like uh, watching a 3D movie or even 4D movie. It is really like a very, very, how do you say? Uh, as if you can see what's actually happening during the time. So you can see that the lectures, they're very, very good. So after 100 days, they become uh, absolute good spirits and they receive the blessing. They become absolute good spirits. And they, they become eager and excited to support us. No? So because their success is our success. Our success is their success. So they want us to be victorious. These spirits, absolute good spirits, will be helping us in fulfilling our mission and responsibility. So... Many, many uh, testimonies of brothers and sisters were given, like this person from Japan. Uh, my husband has gastric cancer and went through endoscopic surgery. So in August of this year, I applied for collateral liberation of a central resentful spirit. This is a central evil spirit that exerts uh, bad influence. And he told me that he felt easier in his mind. Uh, so my husband is an officer in a company and in the officers' meeting held in September, the CEO, who until now had not seen eye to eye with my husband, told him that he wanted my husband to become his successor. This is really miraculous. You can see, many, many evil spirits even exert bad influence to your uh, boss when you're working outside. But when you apply for uh, liberation of central evil spirits, wow, this can help you even in your job, right? Just like this person. Also, uh, what's this? Another central evil spirit liberation. I next performed the collateral liberation of the central resentful spirit of my eldest daughter, who, even though she had applied to be blessed time and time again for five years, had had no proposals. We attended the summer Chompyong special great works as, as a family. Huh? And on the way, the very day we returned to our country, she got two proposals from uh, international first-generation members. And finally, what happened? Uh, I feel uh, they have good relationship. No? And finally, uh, they, he was uh, matched. Daughter was matched. So he said, I feel that now that True Father is personally carrying out the works, the works of the spirit world have been become even greater. Uh, many, many good testimonies, actually. Uh, when you liberate central evil spirits, 
we can really have an easier way to fulfill our responsibility, brothers and sisters, because this is uh, the works with the authority of uh, true parents. My, so my wife, Hisayo Tanate, missionary to Sri Lanka, Philippines, uh, 30,000 couples, she said, and he had this experience. I had undergone chemotherapy that lasted more than six months with eight sessions. I had to stay at home in my room because the doctor advised my husband that it would be fatal if I will be infected by COVID-19. After one year of treatment, I don't want to go out of my room anymore. And I don't want to see even the members. Huh? I was socially disabled, which is very difficult to overcome. Huh? My husband decided to apply for collateral liberation of central evil spirit, causing this problem to me. Surprisingly, I felt so liberated after the special great works and now I now begin to cook and bake. I am not ashamed anymore to meet people. And I even attended John Shimon Night Prayer Devotion in HQ and give my testimonies. Look at that. <clears throat> my wife even has this kind of experience. I feel the evil spirits were removed from me and replaced with jumping spirits. Eh? These are good spirits who want to attend God and true parents with joy and excitement. Wow. So when you liberate central evil spirits, brothers and sisters, it's not enough that you just apply for liberation. You have to attend Tun Shimon Vigil. You have to uh, live for the sake of others. You have to do many good things and attract good spirits so that this bad spirit that came out will be replaced by good spirits. And you, and you become more excited to do your mission. Jumping spirit. Huh? Excited to do mission. So removal of central evil spirit in Chanyang Yok succession that causes really big problems. Okay, again, how do we remove these central evil spirits from our bodies? How? Number one, uh, collateral liberation. Then, sincere devotion at Chon Shimon. Number three, lecturers and Su. And four, offering of wish paper. If we do together, these four, the central evil spirits in our bodies, will definitely be taken out. But we should not only take out one because they will be replaced simply by the next leader. So what to do? We have to liberate many central evil spirits. So 13 central evil spirits. I myself, together with my wife, we already apply uh, four no, because we don't have enough money. So four. And then every event, I apply another one, central evil spirits, until we reach 13. And that evil spirits in, in our bodies will lose power. And then the good spirits can have greater power to take them out of our bodies and stop their influence, their evil influence in our life. Adju? So, collateral liberation donation standard uh, is based on the spirit, not on the person applying for liberation. For, so Philippines belongs to, to group four. So when we apply for liberation of uh, collateral liberation, the donation would be like $20 per couple, okay? Per couple if, if uh, the spirit is married when the spirit died and per person if that spirit is single. Okay, so the same uh, donation no, for collateral liberation, whether they are single or uh, married. So... What are the effects of central evil spirits becoming absolute good spirits? This will really solve big problems in our life and even can contribute to national restoration. Look at this. National restoration through spiritual cooperation. We know from based on history that Constantine the Great was a great Roman emperor, meaning he's like the president or the prime minister of Rome no? at the time. But this person converted to Christianity. Can you imagine? Rome at the time persecutes Christianity. Rome at the time is opposing Christianity. But because of this one person, Constantine the Great, who he converted to Christianity. He, because of him, Christianity eventually was uh, legalized in Rome, eventually leading to Christianity becoming the state religion of Rome. That's why Vatican, no, the the 
headquarters of Catholicism is based in uh, Italy, no, in Rome. Because at the time, entire Roman Empire, no, the religion uh, recognized is a uh, Christianity. It became the state religion of Rome. How? Because of only one person who was influenced by the spiritual world through his dream. That is Constantine. Wow. Through his dream, he made Christianity legal and made Christianity eventually the state religion of Rome. So how about Philippines? How can Philippines be restored? You know, we are not so many members in the Philippines now. When can we restore Philippines? After 1,000 years? After 2,000 years? When? We can actually restore the Philippines in the shortest possible time by mobilizing the spiritual world. When, the, for example, the, the, the father of President Marcos huh, will uh, appear in his dream and will tell President Bongbong Marcos, oh, Bongbong Marcos, you work with Unification Church. No? You go to Reverend uh, Leo Angelo Halog. You meet him. You have to meet him and then work with the Unification Church uh, so that uh, our country will uh, be developed and become the number one nation in the world. And we can really make the lives of the Filipinos better. You have to recognize Unification Church. Oh, my gosh. Or even uh, uh, Kim Il-sung, the father of uh, Kim Jong-un, now the leader of uh, North Korea. Uh, if uh, Kim, Kim Il-sung will uh, appear in the dream of Kim Jong-un and finally tell, oh, you have to uni you go with, go unite with Mother Moon. No? North Korea will become the number one nation in the world. The whole world will come to North Korea and North Korea will become the center of the world if you unite with Mother Moon. Huh? What will happen? Kim Jong-un, if he will not follow his uh, grandfather's uh, advice in the dream, then a grandfather will uh, choke him in the neck and he cannot breathe, almost die. And finally, no choice but to follow his grandfather. Uh, that can only happen if we establish the right condition uh, uh, in mobilizing the spiritual world. When that happens, when the spiritual world, when the great leaders of the nations of the world, their uh, ancestors will appear in their dreams to really work with us, most especially in the Philippines, North Korea, Japan and even America, huh? then, my goodness, brothers and sisters, in no time, the world will recognize our beloved true mother. This is the shortcut to national restoration. We have to liberate no, presidents of nations in our nation, liberate them so that they become absolute good spirits, so that they can uh, work with their descendants for a life on earth. And, and finally, no, finally, these uh, descendants who are leaders in the society, leaders in the nation, can work with us more easily in order to save our nation. Adieu. So spiritual experience is actually a shortcut for education of core members, sometimes better than 40 days workshop. Huh? Once our members can have spiritual experience, brothers and sisters, even though they did not attend 40 day workshop, 21-day workshop, they will become very active in our movement and they will become, uh, how do you say, the main people who will work with us and they will never give up no, until they die. Uh, one spiritual experience only uh, and then you become really very, very strong in your faith and really work very hard for the sake of God and through parents. Uh, you know, I have many, many experience about this and then you can see that only through spiritual experiences can we really bring many, many people to work with us in the shortest possible time. So, uh, another example here of how the spiritual world works. No? Here, uh, True Mother said, how is it that 16 United Nations member nations mobilized to help this small nation of Korea that was unknown to the world? Can you imagine True Mother said that this was not thanks to human efforts. This was thanks to God. No? True Mother said like that. Because uh, in the United Nations, um, they have to make a resolution to send the, uh, 
United Nations Forces to Defend South Korea. Uh, no? Because Russia has a veto power to stop this uh, resolution. But at the time, during the meeting of the Security Council, nobody, no Russian ambassador, Russian representative attended the meeting. No? And finally, this resolution was passed. So why is it like that? It is because maybe the spiritual world do something. Huh? This Russian representative, the Russian ambassador, while about to go to attend the UN meeting, met accident. Huh? Or suddenly his stomach become painful. Huh? And or he has suddenly heart attack or high blood attack. So this U Russian representative was not able to attend the UN meeting. And finally, the UN resolution was uh, approved and uh, finally UN sent 16 nations soldiers to defend South Korea during the Korean War. Yeah? So meaning, the spiritual world can affect in a, a very, very important uh, decisions and time and turning points in the history of humankind. So, if we offer sincere devotion and mobilize the spiritual world, we can restore our nation in the shortest possible time. Brothers and sisters, so we have to really exert more effort in uh, offering Jongsong condition in Chonsimwon, in uh, Chonbo events. No? More effort we have to exert no? than actually working in the frontline uh, uh, providence. That means together, we have to do it together. Both in spirit and truth, we have to work. Both physically and internally, spiritually and externally, we have to really work and really bring the victory to restore our nation. Adieu. So, the great hope of humanity in the era of John Elguk is by mobilizing leader type absolute good spirits. How can we mobilize leader type absolute good spirits? We have to liberate the famous people and leaders in our nation and in the world. And we have to liberate collateral liberation, central evil spirits in our bodies because these are the leader type spirits. Huh? Leader type spirits. True Father said one time, I would rather have one person who can lead a thousand than a thousand people who needs to be led. Huh? Ano sabi True Father said? I would rather have one person to work with me who can lead a thousand rather than a thousand people who needs a leader. My goodness. So we have to really uh, mobilize, mobilize, we have to liberate leader type, absolute good spirits through collateral liberation. And uh, what? Yes, collateral liberation of uh, uh, heads of states or leaders in our country and the uh, collateral liberation of central evil spirits. Okay, so let's read this all together. Up to the present day, because evil spirits have come down to earth and carried out their work, there have been phenomena such as men mental illness and the degradation of people's character. But this will not be the case henceforth. We will conquer our bodies, form a realm of resonance, and immediately enter the higher realm of spiritual experience. A realm of noble character will be formed. Now, this realm of noble character will be formed if we can have more good spirits work, working with us. But if there are more evil spirits in us than good spirits, we can have mental illness. We can have misfortune. We can have a degradation of our character uh, involving in vices that we cannot control. And we become failure in our life of faith. Conclusion, to be successful in our life of faith, we need to have many, many good spirits working with us, brothers and sisters. To do that, we need to attend Chonbo events. We need to liberate no, through collateral liberation. So True Father said, there are only two kinds of spiritual phenomena, those that are caused by God and those that are not. We can tell right away. That is when we classify spiritual phenomena as good or evil. We have a standard that tells us what a good phenomenon should be like. We should not move forward unless we check the phenomena according to that standard. Every few hundred years or so, a period of great transition or extensive spiritual phenomena comes about. Oh, true, Father said. Extensive 
spiritual phenomena comes about. That time is our time today, brothers and sisters. Extensive spiritual phenomena will come about. And True Father said, when this takes place, a nation either perishes or prospers. If evil spirits are mobilized, the nation will perish. Huh? If good spirits are mobilized, that nation will prosper exceedingly. So, what shall we do? We have to mobilize good spirits and the separate evil spirits. How do we do that? Attend Chonbo events and apply for collateral liberation. Adieu. So, how could the fortunes of the world get mixed up with all of this? It is not a simple thing. Then, what is the purpose, purpose of this spiritual phenomena or of religion? What is the purpose of this spiritual phenomena? The reason heaven steers up spiritual phenomena in the course of the providence is in the end for the perfection of humankind. So True Father said, if we become successful in steering up the spiritual phenomena, steering up good spirits rather than evil spirits, we can become perfected sons and daughters of God. Adieu? Perfected sons and daughters of God. Like Jesus. Like true father. This is very, very important. Right? So, as the spirit world opens up, what kind of spirits you want to work with you? Evil spirits or good spirits? Uh, even though you say, yeah, I like good spirits. But you only talk, you only say, I like good spirits. But you don't attend Chumbo events? What's that? Cannot be like this. If you want good spirits to go with us and work with us and become victorious and we become good people rather than people who cannot control their vices, rather than people who experience misfortune. If we want good spirits to be with us, we have to attend and register. Register. Then attend Chonbo event, most especially in La Union, November 25 to 26. Add you. Good spirits, good spirits. Okay? Not bad spirits. Be wise, brothers and sisters. Be wise. Let us all attend Chonbo event in La Union this coming November 25 to 26. Adieu. Kamsa Thank you very much, everyone. Please give a hand to our...